Hello and welcome back to another Polyverses. It's been a long time since we've done one and I'm fishing against none other than welcome back Les Thompson. Welcome back mate. Cheers Paul. Awesome. We're here at Holly Farm we're fishing on Moby Lake. Um, it's got an island in the middle and that's all we know really because we was fishing on another lake but there's a match on there so we're on this one. <laughs> so <laughs> um, It looks perfect for a method feeder to be fair. Adam and Ben have picked two pegs for us behind us to be right and left. Uh, we don't know which one we're on yet because Adam's going to do the draw. So I'll bring Adam on now to do the draw and there's a bit of a twist in it, I think, looking at him. Right then, so, <laughs> slightly different to normal. We're going to do the draw a bit differently. We've got a bucket down the bank. There's six boilies in each of these two bait tubs. I ain't fishing boilies. what boiling. I want you to do? <laughs> <laughs> is you've got a choice of four slick catapults. You can pick one, you can both use the same one if you want, go one at a time. But whoever gets the most boilies in the bucket is gonna get the pick of the pegs. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's crack on. <laughs> See who can uh, be the most oh, accurate with these catapults. Unreal, unreal. Oh, soft one, soft. Soft? Soft. Right, okay, Liz, I'll go first. Why you first? Well, just because I'm the smallest. <laughs> You know, I mean, how, how many balls you got in there? I've got eight. How many you got? Two. <laughs> We've got six <laughs> each. Right, let's, here we go. Oh, oh, that was close. That's too far. Hold it back. Hold it back. Hold it back. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> nearly in. Oh, hit the, the bucket. Hit the bucket. This will be in. Oh, <laughs> oh <the top. laughs> nearly got the belt. No, no, no. Oh. Are you out? Yeah. Well, now you'll go. You want to have another go? Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, money got five. You got one in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. I want to get fishing. Oh, 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 it bounced over it like Ooh. my one. Oh, oh no. More eye. More if, if we don't get one then we ain't got a fish. That's him, that's him. Oh! <laughs> that's him. Oh. No. Are you out? No. One more? No, oh no. We've still got two left. I've counted eight already. What are you doing? <laughs> that's him. Oh! oh. <laughs> you got no heavier boilies? <laughs> Last one. Oh! oh. Right, well, we've both had six boilers each and got so close, oh, but neither has got one in. Oh, bad stove, I was close. I reckon so, I was we've refilled our bait tubs with boilies and we're going to go two apiece till we get one in. So, we might not be fishing today. Right, Les, go on, you go first. Uh, let's get an after first. <laughs> it was easier to get the lead in the bog roll. Oh, nah, nah. Go on. Just, just, just get one. End it. Oh. Oh. Six months later. <laughs> yes! <laughs> get in there! <laughs> Have that. Sorry, Les. Sorry, Les. Um, yeah. I'll get choice of draw. Uh, nah. Well, I'm left-handed, so I'll, I'll go this one. Why have you picked that? Because... In the margins, better for left. If I go that side, it's awkward. That's a right-handed peg. You know what I mean? No. Ah, it's like <laughs> that, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on now. Okay, so I'm all set up. I've set up two rigs, I was going to set up three rigs, but one rig does two of the places I'm fishing. I'm fishing top kit plus two in front of me, where I'm going to feed maggot and fish maggot, maybe put a few micros in there so it gives me the option to put a pellet on. And I've got a line down to it, it's like a little platform comes out, there's an aerator on the end of it. I've gone 13 and a bit metres just towards it, but I'm probably about a metre off of it, just in the deeper water. There's a few lilies on the inside, so I've just come away from them. And I'm going to do micros and pellet there. Just keep maggot for the hook. And I've done a line the same length, 13 metres, in line with the, where I'm fishing short. 
And oh look, first first swallows or swifts I've seen this year, flying round. Lovely to see, a pair of them. Anyway, getting back to my rigs. So I've got um, a further line at about 13 metres, and the that's a, a, a separate rig because it is slightly deeper out there. It's probably three inches deeper. I know it's nothing, but I'm fishing a short line on these two uh, these two lines here, and it just makes it too short, so I've put another rig up. Uh, and that line, I'm going to feed pellet and micros out there and dead maggot. So dead maggot, micros out there, maggot and micros there, and just micros down there, or maybe some four mil pellets, I might dink some. And then I've just got the option to put maggot on the hook. Just gives me to see if, if I catch better down there, then I'll probably use back on the maggots and just feed pellets down there. But just three options, top kit plus two, 30 metres towards the little staunching down there away from the lilies, and then one out there in the open water. No ground bait, dead maggots, four and six mil uh, pro expanders, and then I've got red maggot, micros, and some hard forward mills. Very simple approach. As we're told, it's just small fish in here, so the biggest fish you're likely to catch is probably three pounds, so let's get on with it. Well, Polly got a boilie in the bucket, so I've been left with peg nine. He's got peg nine and a half, that's how close we are closer than brothers. He's got lily pads, he's got an aerator, he's got a pallet. He's fresh from the Maldives, but we're gonna take him out with a short line with worms. Uh, I've been told that this lake's got lots and lots of small fish. I always find that when I wanna to come to venues that I don't really know, a safe bed is always a worm line with some casters in, a little bit of ground bait. So I'm gonna fish that short at six meters. I have got some lily pads, but they're a bit of a distance away but Polly needs to be closer because he's a little bit older than me so I've got a line towards some lilies and I've got a pellet line then so I was going to fish pellets until I found out everything was that big um, at 13 meters I, I have if I want it got a cheeky line that I can reach to the island so if anything comes around that starts wants to be mugged I can reach that with 17 and a half but I don't really want to do that I'm hoping they're going to be at six meters and 13. Right then, that's me ready. Polly, you ready? I am. All in. All in. Away we go. Oh. <laughs> Reset. I've dropped it. Reset. That's nerves, you see. Reset. Reset. Nerves. 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 You were like that the first time, weren't you? I was. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these have you won, actually? Uh, one. One? One. Just the one. So you've got a very, very 99% chance. That's like very, very good chance. I've got one there. Right. Let's have a little bit of a chop up. See what he's doing. I thought you weren't going long. Yeah, I so said I've got a 13 metre line, then a 16 metre line, then 17 and a half. Yeah, well. But if it's a problem, I'm insane now, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just going to make a little ball. So it's a little mushed up ball. Oh, it's black. <laughs> Might be an early change of tactic, aren't it? Uh? You reckon? Maggot. Must be fair enough. What is that? He's had four. Uh, just little fish, ain't they? Little stockies, a little mm. tiny mirror carp. Mm. 
Now you think you might have started on the wrong bait. <laughs> oh dear. We're away, Paul, we're away. You're away, you're away. Well, we're 30 minutes in, and it appears that Worm and Castor was a little bit positive. I was convinced that we were going to be catching skimmers and tench and all these other little fish that were like this that we were told we were going to be catching. Turns out this full of carp, like this big. And Mark got off to a flyer on maggot, which I've just switched to, and I've started catching back up. I'm probably what you reckon, Mark? Seven or eight fish behind, nine fish behind. But yeah, they're not. The the Anybody catches a big fish and it wipes anything out. So tiny. Mark's had one roach that's bigger than two of his car. <laughs> and you mark. And it fell through his net. That's how big it was. <laughs> Getting to a bang. <laughs> yeah. But it's hard to stick with it because you've got to net everything. Um, when you're used to lifting fish out like that, fishery rules, you've got a net, so it might be a case I get bored with this and sit down by them lily pads. Well, we're half hour in, and I've been dinking a few pellets down there by the lilies, or what lilies are starting to come up. Just spreading them a bit. I put some pellets down there when I, we started. But it's just little fish are put, it is. You want to try and catch the bigger ones, but you just can't. There's no way of sorting them out. There's just so many fish down there. But it is one of bun. I've probably had two or three six ounce fish. I think I see Les catch a couple that, one of them might have been a pound perhaps, but they are so small, it's just a bite every put in. I'm going to stick at this. In about another 15, 20 minutes, I may have a look on that further line just to see, but I think it'd be small fish as well. Oh, well, that's a little bit bigger one. I think it's just pot luck if you get a slightly bigger fish. There's just so many down there. And we haven't even seen any big fish sort of crash, but I mean, that's a good fish. Six ounce, happy with that. So it's just a matter, I think, of just getting your head down, catching what you can, and maybe having a look on another line, see if you can nick any slightly bigger fish. But I don't think you'd be able to do it. I think it'd just be, yeah, wherever you go, small fish, just lots of small fish. And the fishery rule is we've got to net them. I think I'd set up a whip to hand, be like fishing in Ireland, one a bung, it'd be awesome. I think I've had eight on that maggot. Sweet one. No, no, I can't. See, Les wants to get me disqualified. That's the type of bloke he is. He comes back into the fold, into Matrix, and wants to try and get me disqualified first time out filming with him. I mean, I love the bloke, but I mean, you know, things he does, it's done real. <laughs> Just saying how much I love you, Les. Yeah, it's feeling mutual. Yeah. It's mutual.
How far away is the Maldives, Paul? Oh, About miles. that far. And you know, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not that far. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon there might be a turtle over there. Well, I've had a look down the edge. I've had a couple of slightly better fish, but it's nothing's really, I keep getting pestered by the smaller fish and Leslie's getting some better fish next to me fishing. Well, it looks like he's fishing about 20 meters. I've come short and uh, it's just those little fish all the time. And you can't, you know, I need some better fish, you know, sort of eight ounce to a pound fish, but you just can't target them. I had some long in the open water, so there's a few better fish, up to a pound, and they just went, and then back to the little fish again. I come short again, just keep swapping my lines, just trying to see if I can get a few better fish. But the most better stamp I've had, which is towards this margin, down the far side going towards this little platform thing where there's an aerator, but even that turned to small fish as well. I'll just keep plodding away, I may just come short, and just catch what I can and hope I'll get some better ones in between for the next part of the match. But I see fish down there moving and that, but it's just, just can't target them better fish is what you need. Because one better fish is like 10 of them little tiny ones. In fact, one of my better fish, I reckon Leslie's could eat mine. No, uh, he keeps smashing me pole behind me. He's just trying all these tricks just to beat me. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> See, that's a better fish that is, but these are getting them two, three times that size. But they're lovely little left ones, beautiful fish. I think nearly every one I've caught, I don't think seen a hook before. So, and I've stopped feeding through my pot on this line. I'm just dinking some four mils. Some hard four mils there, just fishing a soft six mil, just trying to not encourage the little ones to feed, but whatever you do, you do get a few of them. I can get a fish a bung there out my hand, maggots out my hand, but they're just so small. I got completely bored of catching carp that big. Polly likes fish that size, he's stuck with them a bit longer. But I'm, I wanted to try and find some better fish. I've been pinging the line at 13. Polly's just dropped on his actually had a couple of better fish. I'll have a check on that. But I, had, I was pinging four mils just to the cover where the island is. Only problem is it's 17 metres, which is a little bit further than what we wanted to go. But the stamp of fish is much better and there's been an odd cruiser just come out the cover which is what I'd rather be doing and catching little things they've still got eggshell on them so that's what we're doing so pinging a few fours it's just a little whip over and there's definitely a better stamp of fish on that far side Polly's just ticked away I've got plenty of small fish but there's just how can I put it? I ain't got the patience to stick with them. I'm tempted to swing and at some point, I probably would. So now we've just been pinging a few, dropping just short of that bush. There's another one. And that one's a better fish again, so they're a better stamp. It's a long way to go, but it's worth it because one of these is worth six of those little fish. And that is what I'd rather be doing. Instead of pulling out the tiny little things where a four to six elastic is too heavy. They're actually pull, using a puller on these. So now it's fun. That's better. Worth ten of the others.
weight you reckon you got? Oh, I reckon probably about. I reckon about three, four pound behind you. I do. I'm talk, I could Honestly, see. Les, I do. You've got eight of them tiny things, but I even had a fish. Well, yeah, but bloody hell, they ain't going to weigh. These are too slow. You're catching two tomorrow, one yeah, day. Make good filming anyway. It's just a long way to go, and I wasn't going to stay on them small things all day. Yeah. Stuff that. Well, I can catch quicker in front of me, but I just get a little bit bigger stamp down here on pellet, but... On there, hard pellet? No, soft pellet, soft six mil. Oh, uh, you got a bowl? Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Look at that. What a beauty. I think I'll take it home for the pond. I ain't got a pond. Beautiful fish. Beauty. We've got half an hour left. Right. I'll set the method got up. Half then. an hour left, 30 minutes oh, until the end of the match. Well done, Paul. Uh, you could pack up now, Liz. Yeah. Well done, mate. It's that goldfish that's done it. Yeah. Goldfish counts as 30 pounds. I didn't know that. Did you feed down there? Tetraffin. <laughs> right. 30 minutes left. We've just had the call. I couldn't be bothered staying on those small fish. That's probably what I think might be the difference. I've had a better stamp the second part of the match, but I couldn't be bothered sitting there catching things like this. He loves that, not me. Things that should be swung should be swung, but we're not allowed to. So I've switched to hard six mil, pinging over at 17 metres, like I said, because the fish seem to be undercover. Polly's got lots of cover in that margin. He's got lilies, he's got reeds, he's got pallet aerator. He just looked a better fish then, I think so. But my better stamp has definitely been underneath that cover on the far side. So it's a little bit more hard work, but it has been a better stamp. So I shall stay with this till the end of the match. Proper one, Paul. Oh, he tried to have a sneaky one. Oh, for that. oh Bob. Well done, Lee. Well done, Paul. <laughs> I reckon you've got me with your little everything in miniature. <laughs> That's what I reckon. Well done, Paul. What do you reckon you got? I caught a lot more fish than you, but you've had smaller fish. I, I would have thought. You might be ten pound more than me. You might well, be. You so. might be a little bit more. I should have persevered with uh, everything in miniature, but I ain't doing that. But when you went over, I mean, I got. I couldn't have fished over any. But when you went over, that was where the fish wanted to be. The to want it, yeah. They seemed to want it to be undercover. Because it ain't like that shallow, is it? It's a little bit no, of depth was, there. Was that? Yeah. And they seemed to want to hang just yeah. under that cover, and they've done the same down and there. The, well, they? yeah, they stayed under that platform. Yeah. But I had to go shallow, but I couldn't catch. Well, everything shallow, here but... was just too. I mean, you oh, persevered with them, yeah. but. That ain't for me. And I then I went out it. and I thought I'd got it right because I'd cut some bait and leave. It went out, better fish, six to eight ounce fish, three or four, then back to them little ones. Yeah. Well, I had uh, a little one, a little one, a little one. 
Another little one. No little, little ones. <laughs> no little ones. <laughs> you've got a net and it just makes it a pain, oh, doesn't it? Mate, but in that. amongst, I get six or seven, you get one about six oh, cents. If, but if you could keep catching them, but I can imagine the bait if, going down, then the little ones are there straight away. Everyone who knows me, if it's, if it's the, well, you're the same. Well, you're always, if it's that big, it's coming through the air if it's silver. <laughs> yeah. So that big. Oh, but they are pretty. Yeah. But Les, when they grow up, they'll be lovely. But irrespective if you beat me or not, I do get the prize for the best fish. Oh yeah, you got you that got goldfish it. is just it was awesome. Three, it was three three darts in the ice of spades. No, I missed with one dart. Got it on the top down there on them a little Yeah. Got but there's just the odd fish. There's what? not lots of them. I don't know. I can see six now. <laughs> <laughs> Another one over there. Yeah, yeah. What have you been doing? Yeah. Oh. What a lovely day. No, it's been beautiful. Yeah. It's good. And it's a nice setting as well, isn't it? I mean, oh, uh, awesome. Oh, it's been lovely. I mean, they put some washing out there. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's had a little bit of a picnic over there. Yeah. I did see her come out with a cup of tea, but she didn't come over here with one, did she? No. 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 I thought Shirley Bassett was in that one. She's changed her outfit three times. Oh, well. Yeah. I think she see the camera crew. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's been good, Les. It's, it's been, been brilliant, good. mate. Yeah. Well done, awesome. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Right, let's get packed up, mate. Oh, oh there's not much of my pole left. You've smashed the 14 metre <laughs> section. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> right then, so, match is finished. It's time for the all-important weigh-in to see who's won. It's going right. to be close, I think. What you got? What I reckon I'm to? nine pound less than you. No. I no, might be out, had, I do. You've had lots of them little ornamental yeah and you've had a goldfish uh, well instantly yeah so i've had a beautiful goldfish so i think right uh as soon as though polly got pick of pegs les you can weigh first okay. come on then do the honors <laughs> so we've already wet the sling got the scales ready scales are zeroed ready to go now it's a moment of truth polly can you can hold them hold them for me i'll get this it's a light it's a light light charge 17 and a half metres. You did well, your best Liz. to break my pole. <laughs> oh, yeah, Proper like fish. Do you want to put them all in, Les? Yeah. Yeah. I'll left this one. Oh, this one. There we go. Do it in one way. Any other? They love I reckon fish. he's got nice, lovely net fish, isn't it? Beautiful he? fish. I spill a lovely Much day. better stamp on that banded pellet. Oh, more than nine pound more than me, Les. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you Honestly, couldn't lie no, straight I... in bed. Who said there were skimmers in here? Lovely. So, put that in there. Oh, hang on. I'll lift that up. Oh, still got one. Cheers, what is one of Polly's? Oh, look. So, you were about bang on. I said 40 pound, didn't I? 41. 12. 12. 41, 12 for Les. Not bad. No, no, it was not bad. I was, I was a, a, a hard work as well. Yeah, I perhaps I should have just persevered with it, but I wasn't going to do that. I'm happy enough with that. Oh, it's been a lovely day. No, it's been lovely. It's been yeah. enjoyable, hasn't it? And it, it just didn't seem to me that everything wanted to be underneath cover. Yeah. Polly's caught well towards cover, hasn't yeah. And he's telling yeah, lies. Smaller he's, fish. He says he's got oh. smaller fish. <laughs> well, I'll everything, get him out, shall I? Yeah, yeah get him out. Go on then. <laughs> Right, you will do me the, the honours, you hold them. Oh, oh, oh no, you want me to do that? Uh, you can move the there you jump. go, look. Could be close. close. Have you yeah, split them? Right. Yeah, you can split, I think. I'll put big things. See the smaller snap, look, you'll see now, look. Yeah, it's a pretty size fish there, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Let me get the other ones. So, that's the first snap. And they're a bit split. I just think I was a long way back. Oh, that's close. close yeah. It is no. close. It is close, though. I'll have £30. Pound. Oh, there's a goldfish in there. Is that worth £2? Pound? <laughs> oh, I reckon that's close. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Well, two more. There we go. A couple more. Oh, come out, you little... I reckon... Two more. Two more for Polly. I reckon 35, then. No, there's a bit more than that. So, moment of truth. You're on. What have we got? Really? <laughs> oh, it was close. Oh, so. I, I tell you what, 17 and a half metres to catch that back. 
39.6. I'm going to give you. Give him seven. Okay, 39.7. Don't be mean. There we go. Uh, well done, Polly. Lovely. Right. Different bag of fish. Look. Bag of fish. Look at that gold fish. fish. Well, there you have it. Absolute brilliant match, Les. Well done. Two pound five. Close. I said it was close. I didn't think I'd pulled it back, to be fair, because I reckon I was at least seven pound behind at one point. You were catching these, yeah, river, but yeah. that, like I said, that worked for me. And when you changed, you went out long, banded pellet. I then concentrated down the edge because that they were bigger, but not all the time. But you got a run of slightly bigger fish. I mean, a six ounce fish was a decent fish for me. And I suppose it was for you as well. Yeah, I mean, a six ounce fish on that short line for me, because someone told us it was full of skimmers and oh. yeah, it really well, we haven't seen day, the skimmer. The one goldfish, I had a roach. Did you have a rud? Or I had rud? one, one. Yeah. So next to no silverfish. Yeah. No tench, we were told there was tench in here. And I just thought, no. And I, I looked at that at the start and I thought there's definitely going to be some fish in there. There was fish under your cover and yeah, I thought yeah. they've got to be over there. Yeah. So when I've switched to it, it's like, we've fished two totally different matches, yeah. haven't we? And it's, yeah. it's found the better stamp of fish. Well, yeah. a lot of fish. Yeah. You've had more of these little things, but yeah. like I said, that ain't for me. No. no. <laughs> so anyway, I've had a great day. I, you've had a great day watching it. Um, if you want to watch any more of these fun videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you want a nice day's fishing, we've fished Moby uh, Lake here at uh, Holly Farm, and it's absolutely ran with fish. Although there's Solid. other lakes here, this is absolutely ran with small fish. For, for beginners looking to fish, this is unreal. It's absolutely, there's bites to be had everywhere you put your float. So anyway, catch you on the bank and well done again, Liz. Cheers, Paul.